Hello and how's it going now here, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel and today guys we are back in league action under the Pride Park floodlights for the first time this season. Today's visitors are Exeter City. Now guys if you're going to enjoy this video then do me a massive massive video by hitting like, subscribe and hitting the bell icon next to that so you don't miss when I upload a brand new video on this channel. So simply easy as that, let's try and hit the subscriber count up to 500 for this season. You've got until May to do that. If you can get this many subscribers by the end of last season then we can definitely definitely hit that target so if you haven't already please 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 hit that subscribe button now Exeter are today's visitors and they are in a very good run of form at the minute they're doing pretty well this season sitting in eighth place currently meanwhile the Rams are sitting 11th place following a 1-0 away loss on Friday night against Ipswich Town it was a good defensive performance from the Rams in that game However, there was just one mistake that was the difference between both sides. Curtis Davis and underpassing back to Wild Smith and the capitalising on a rebounded ball off the post. And apart from the uh, that one that one mistake, it Derby were pretty much a solid team. You know, we played the ball really well defensively. I think it was just we were just really lacking that cutting edge. We didn't have one shot on target against Ipswich. Uh, we had three shots in total, none on target, and Ipswich. I, to be honest, I think apart from that goal, it was pretty much an even game, you know, both sides gave each other a good game. Just one mistake, to being the difference, and I, I think it was quite a harsh loss for us, but it's something that we've got to put right tonight. Exeter, like I said, are a good team at the minute, so I'm not expecting a win today. However, I'll be happy with a draw. I'm going to say 1-1 one, one draw tonight. I'm going to say um, Nathaniel mendes -Lang to be getting that goal for the Rams. Without further ado, guys, let's head to Pride Park. Let's see how the boys do tonight. I'm hoping for a win. I hope the boys can prove me wrong. I'll be happy with the draw, though. Anything to get back on track and improve our home form under Paul Warren. Without further ado, guys, this is how today's teams line up for coverage and commentary to come on the Rams versus the Grecians. We kicked off yet, next door already fucking singing their lungs out. It's alright, it just means that they won't be singing during the match. on the edge of our box though, Corey Smith slipping over and uh, allowing Exeter in to recover well and all he could do is drag his man down otherwise we're through on goal. 
after that to start the day as well. It's a good opportunity for them to whip one into the box or maybe into the top corner. Going from a back heel there, nice work from Sibley. Thought it went out, but uh, played on, face the whistle, and uh, unlucky not to get a goal there. But it was a nice move. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Exeter's a shit hole, that's why you're still in. Come on, man, that's. Go on, that's it, that's it, that's it. One more. Oh. It's all in sweat, it's all for the air at the minute. Go on, go on. Go on. I've done here at Pride Park, Dub County nil, Exeter City nil. End to end game so far. Both teams had opportunities to get open, no break the deadlock, but it is a very tight game so far. Derby definitely getting exploited um, in their wide positions, especially obviously with the sitting three at the back. Mendes Lang is doing brilliant as a wing back. Um, he's pressing in the attack and he's really causing the opposition to have some problems, but uh, so far it's not been really mushing it. It's to look very, uh, it's to look very threatening going forward, but as it stands, it's not really, it's not really too open for us. I think Exeter probably had the better opportunities in this first half. And we need to do, we do really need to keep pressing them, uh, pressing them from the front. We always scored from pressing them from the front, but nothing came from it. And I think if we keep that up, we're more likely going to get a goal. Um, as so far, I can't really tell them. It's been a good game of football and it's been a real test from two, from two teams in similar positions at the table. So I'd like to see Derby really press a bit more second half, really get that goal. And hopefully get the three points for us. But if I miss, that's the come.
Corey, Corey. trying to cause problems around the world. I'm here at Pride Park, it has finished Derby County, nil, Exeter City, nil. Goalless draw, stalemate, nothing between the two sides, a very defensive display from Derby. Probably played better defensively than Exeter did. We had better opportunities, just couldn't find that final shot. Very nearly getting the ball into the back of the net from David McGoldrick beating the wing back. Fortunately, just couldn't get the ball into the net. The keeper went down, they had to make a substitution, Jamal Blackman had to go off. Um, for the goalkeeper um, not a bad game of football it certainly wasn't the most exciting if truth be told but a good solid contest between two mid-table teams that didn't want to give in to either each other so I'm happy with the point I guess uh, it's a point that I predicted I thought there would have been goals though that probably would have been a bit more exciting something to give the crowd a bit of something to cheer on got to give credit to Exeter I bought about a thousand and made 
made noise throughout the whole match. A massive respect to Exeter for that. They fans were brilliant tonight. Um, only thing I've got to say is quite embarrassing though from the Exeter fans. Why are you celebrating with a pink flare at full time? I'll post a picture of that um, here. But yeah, they got um, setting off a pink flare at full time, celebrating a nil-nil draw. It's quite cringy when you're celebrating a nil-nil draw. If it were goals, if they'd like, literally got an equaliser at the last minute, then fair enough, I'd understand why. But nil-nil draw, you're celebrating like that. It is very, that is very cringe in my honest opinion. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm happy with the point. A lot of fans probably would have wanted the win. Would have been better for a win in terms of how the tables are standing. But, you know, we picked up a point against a, a good team in this league this season. So I'm happy with that. I'll take that. Um, and we've got to, well, we've got to try and pick up a point against Bristol Rovers on Saturday. Leaving the vlog there, guys. Thank you all for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. I'm Niall. You guys have been brilliant. Thanks for watching. I'll see you Saturday for our kickoff against Bristol Rovers. It's Niall signing out. Peace.